Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you one of my favorite mid thoracic and rib cage stretches and mobilization exercises. So if you have a lot of difficulty rotating your trunk or if you feel very stiff in here or feel like your back is like a board, which is a very common saying I hear, this exercise is for you. Now for this exercise, all you'll need is a yoga block and your own self and maybe a yoga mat so it's more comfortable on your knees. So with this exercise, we're gonna have you start on your hands and knees, and I'm gonna demonstrate this exercise on both sides. All right, so we're gonna get on your hands and knees, and you want your knees to be about shoulder width apart, and you want your pelvis right over your hips, or hips and pelvis right over your knees. You're gonna put your hand on the yoga block, and you're gonna be on your forearm on the other side. And you wanna make sure, again, that your the yoga block is right underneath your hand. You don't want the yoga block to be off to the side. Now, without moving your pelvis side to side, you are simply going to rotate your ribs towards the same side as the yoga block while straightening your left arm. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna rotate my ribs and, oh, just fell a crack, and try to extend this arm as I rotate. Now, a lot of people, when they do this, they, they tend to sway to the side because it's so tight. But really think like you're a Costco chicken, like swiveling on a skewer. And you're just really trying to get that pure rib cage and thoracic rotation, and then you can come back. So really rotate. And what's really important here, again, is that you're not moving your pelvis. You don't want your pelvis to sway side to side because that's cheating. And you really want to get that pure thoracic rotation. So I'm going to do the other side. And again, notice if you feel tight more on one side than the other. And what you can do is you can hold it for about five to 10 seconds if you want, or you can just do more of a dynamic mobility. All right, so that was the um, thoracic mobilizer exercise. Uh, I just did a few quick reps per side just to demonstrate it, um, just so you don't forget if you're one of my clients or if you really um, wanted a quick video on how to do this on your own. So highly recommend doing this. Um, this is a really great exercise if you are having back pain and neck pain, because what I notice in a lot of my clients is that they're so stiff in their mid back um, and they're having neck and back pain, but they're not really having mid back pain. So. Um, one of the great reasons why this is so important is because if you are, if you tend to move a lot in your neck and in your lower back, but your mid back is so stiff, you're almost like overstressing your neck and your lower back. But if you open up your mid back, you're able, your body is able to distribute the forces equally along your entire spine whenever you're doing sitting activities, bending over, so that you're not just overloading your neck and your lower back. So again, this is a really great exercise to just kind of unstiffen your thoracic spine, your rib cage, and work on your thoracic rotation. 